Simscape Multibody provides a number of tools to help you review your simulation results. Let's look at an example. In this example, we are viewing a robot from multiple viewpoints. We can see a static viewpoint where we are viewing it from afar, and we see two dynamic viewpoints, one which is tracking the tip of the robot, and another one where the camera is moving to specific points in time with a specific position and orientation. In the Mechanics Explorer, you can set up single views or, or multiple views, and you can select from standard viewpoint options. You can use a number of tools to adjust your viewpoint. You can zoom in, you can rotate about a certain point or roll the view in order to view the object from the exact angle you desire. You can select any number of views and configure the layout of those views. Those viewpoints can be static or dynamic. Here we're selecting a tip tracking camera that will track the tip of a robot, and here we're selecting the tip keyframe camera. These cameras were defined in the camera manager, where you have the option of defining a camera that will track a specific point, or a camera that will move to specific positions and orientations in time. You can review your animation, rewinding it using the scroll bar or the buttons. At this point, an object is blocking our field of view. We can select that object and jump to the block diagram to see what that object is. Here we can see it's the lower arm. We can hide this object, eliminating it from the animation so that we can see the point that we wish to watch. You can adjust the playback speed to make it playback faster or slower. When you are happy with how you have configured your viewpoints, you can export the result to a video file. Here with the video creator, you can export the file to multiple formats with multiple speeds and frame rates. This shows some of the options that are available when reviewing the animation results in Simscape Multibody.